Warning, this video blog or vlog may contain harsh language and opinions that are not necessarily in line with YouTube or its partners or affiliates. YouTube does not openly endorse the content of this vlog. All opinions are expressly those of Ranting Ramsey and do not reflect on the opinions or values of YouTube, its affiliates, or its parent or partner companies. Greetings internet people, Ranting Ramsey here. How are you all doing today? I hope the day finds you well. And if you're watching this after the new year, happy fucking new year. I personally don't really celebrate New Year's. I think it's all a matter of when we start counting. The idea of New Year's resolutions seem absolutely absurd to me, but that's just me. If you do that, if you participate in that, I hope it goes well for you. So, we're talking about two things today. The first is something I promised someone I would do. And now that I'm actually recording this video, I realize that I forgot to go and look up the username of the person who asked this of me. All I can remember is that, is that the word Pedro is in their name. I will link it in the description of this video as to who actually um, brought this up. But um, the first off, the something I promised a long-time watcher of mine I would do, which is the Pedro person, um, I now prove to them that um, there is not some gigantic spider hanging out in uh, the background of my videos. And um, this is how I do so. This is Allison, my stuffed flush... I'm having trouble speaking today. Please forgive me. This is Allison, my stuffed plush face hugger alien. She's quite harmless. Um, if you've never seen the Alien movie series, go do it. Um, like, as soon as you finish watching this video, in my opinion. It's a great series of movies. Each one of them is lovable for its own attributes. The uh, first movie is the epitome of the uh, sci-fi, suspense, horror, survival genre. Um, the second is a great action flick. Action flick. <laughs> cannot speak properly. Um, the, uh, the second is a great action flick with lots of bullets and explosions and neat little continuation of the storyline for those watching it for the content as much as the visuals. And the third was another survival horror movie but mixed with the action genre and how genre What the fuck is wrong with me today? Uh, it was mixed with the action genre in how it was presented. The fact that it had three different directors for the entirety of the cinematic release hampered it greatly. That's one of the reasons why it wasn't as good as it could have been. It had three different directors during principal photography, so not a good situation for anyone who knows anything about movies. But, um, and then the, uh, the fourth is just a mindless action flick that happens to include xenomorphs. It has no real credible part of the storyline at all. It, it was just movie for money's sake, but I still enjoy it because I'm an alien fanboy. But, so, there you go, there you have it. It's not a gigantic spider in the background of my videos. It is, it is a plush facehugger alien. That's all it is, really, you know. So, there you go. It's not a gigantic spider. So you can now actually watch my videos. I don't to worry about that, Pedro. Go. Get on with it! So, um, moving on to the point at hand. Um, you must, must must go to the website that I'm linking to you in the description if you value your privacy. Trust me, you want to. It is the ultimate stalker tool. The uh, website in question is, of course, www.spokio or spokio, S-P-O-K-E-O, dot com. And, um... What this site basically does is it's a universal directory listing for just about anyone who's ever been on the grid. And by on the grid, I mean if you've ever owned a paying if you owned a paying job, if you ever held a paying job, if you've paid taxes, if you have a cell phone, if you have an email address, if you have any sort of thing that can be tracked electronically, um, credit cards, anything like that. You are on this website. 
and you will be surprised by the amount of detail that it provides about you. It is what I consider a primary violation of the privacy which we are all entitled to. I don't believe that this kind of shit has the right to exist. Um, fortunately, there's a way to get around it. Um, now I'm going to start, I'm going to not start, I'm going to continue by saying I realize that I may be doing just as much harm as good by posting this video about this website and explaining to you how to remove your listing, which I will do shortly. But I figure it this way. If only like 200 people who watch this video go and remove their personal listing from this site, then my job is done. 200 people's privacy is protected and that's good enough for me even though sure there may be a, pr uh, a percentage or a portion of the people who use this site now for finding people and exposing their information I consider it a give-and-take scenario at least some people were able to remove themselves from listing while others use the site as it's intended which seems reprehensible to me so the point is if um, if if, if you go to this site that I'm going to link you to in the description and you type in your own name and you find that you're listed and you don't want yourself listed, there's an easy way to, um, to uh, get yourself removed. First thing you need to do is when you uh, find yourself listed, bring yourself up, highlight it on the map, and uh, right click and copy the URL in your browser's URL bar. You'll want to save that for later, maybe paste it onto a uh, notepad or a Word document or something like that, because you're going to need that. Because then you're going to want to go back to the main page, reload the main page, and scroll down to the bottom. It's going to be a little tiny link at the very bottom of the page called Privacy. You're going to want to go ahead and click on Privacy. If you click it from the very main page, it should bring you to a page that basically says if you don't want your information listed provide here the information and it's going to give you a place to put in the URL that's where you're going to paste the URL that I had you copy or paste on a uh, fucking uh, notepad or word document or something like that that's where you're going to want to put that URL that had your information is in the URL of the page question then it's going to ask you for your email address and maybe something else but then you submit that and it takes you off the thing. I did it for myself. I made sure that my information was not available on this website. And it works. When you ask them to remove it, they actually remove it. So that's one point in their favor, but that does not counteract the 500 and some odd points against their favor for the fact that they're actually doing this to begin with. So... If you value your personal privacy and don't want people being able to find out things about you that you don't really even that you didn't even know were out there to be found, go to this website. It's spokio.com or spokio or however the fuck you want to pronounce it. www. Sierra. I was going to try to do it in military alphabet. Now I can't remember what the fuck P is for, but S P O. K E O dot com. Go to Spokio.com. Type in your own name. If you're listed, go back a page after copying the URL. Go down to the privacy link and ask to have your shit removed if you value your personal privacy. Now, I understand that this is probably not the only website like this out there, but I was absolutely stunned about how much information they had about me when I found myself on that page and then promptly asked them to remove it. One side note about this particular website is it goes so far as to list your yearly income and or your worth. And it listed my worth at $166,000 or at least my yearly income, which is fucking laughable. So it may not be 100% entirely accurate, but still, there were things on there that were scarily accurate. And if, once again, to reiterate, if you value your personal privacy, Go to Spokio.com, search yourself, find yourself in the left-hand side of the website, click on yourself, then copy the URL, go down to the original page, scroll down to privacy, click on that, put your URL in the requested box, enter your email, and ask for yourself to be fucking removed if 
you value your privacy. If you don't value your privacy and you want some fucked hard on the fucking internet exposing anything that they possibly can, like your mailing address and all that shit like people fucking do on Encyclopedia Dramatical all the fucking time, remove yourself from this website. Granted, it's not going to remove all your docs from the web to use internet speak, but it will prevent you from being found on this site so easily. And once again, this site finds a lot of information very easily. So there you go, there you have it. I'd appreciate seeing um, comments in the comment section by anybody who's actually went ahead and removed himself from this site. I want to see exactly how many of you bother to remove yourself from this particular listing. And then also, if you know of other sites that do this same kind of thing, notify me and I'll notify everybody else and we can make sure that everybody who wants their privacy protected has their privacy protected at least as far as we can do with these websites obviously big brother is fucking watching you there's nothing you can do about that but you can at least pull yourself off of these fucking websites i'm ranting ramsey david thanks you man you brought that to my attention you're the fucking man whiskey tango foxtrot as it pertains to spokio.com who these fuckers think they are i'm ranting ramsey that is all hey did you get all that man Douche.